What's up, everybody? I am DJ Casio, and welcome to Talking All That Caz. Now, what is Talking All That Caz? Real quick, breaking it down, before I even get to that, let me tell you this. If you want to know anything, you want to connect with me on social media, go to this address right here, www.djcasio.com, all right? All my stuff's up there. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff is up there, okay? Now, for 27 years, over 27 years, I've been hosting a weekly radio show here at 90.9 FM KHTC in Salinas, California. Every one of the shows I've ever done that's in my library is now online. You can go to this address right here, mixcloud.com forward slash DJ underscore Casio to hear all the shows, all the music, all the interviews, everything. Okay? Now, speaking of interviews, maybe you don't have the time to go to Mixcloud and listen to the full shows because there's thousands of hours of stuff to listen to. If that's the case, this is what Talking All That Cows is for. I've isolated all the interviews, taken the interview clips, put them in video form, and I'm posting them up here on YouTube for you guys to check out in a shorter time, all right? So you can just go, pick out whatever interview you want to check out, and here it is, okay? So, without further ado, let's see what I got in store for you this time around. That's right, that's right. Back in the place right here, it is 90.9 FM, KHTC Radio Blingue, and of course... Of course, Santa Cruz, the Monterey Counties, 104.1 in San Benito County. And as well as everywhere else on WednesdayRec.com. I was waiting for that. I no, was waiting. That, that's fine, man. That's okay. fine, man. Hey, real quick, man. We have a very uh, special guest joining us tonight. This guy right here was one of the original members of Atmosphere. Yes, he was. And he goes by the name of D Spawn. What's up, man? Hey, what's happening, y'all? How you doing? How you How you doing tonight, man? I'm really good, really good. That's good, man. With everything going around, you know, all this, all the stuff that's breaking out. Uh, it's good to hear that you're good, man. Right, you gotta stay in the house, you know? <laughs> man. You know, I mean, what, what, you know, what's your take on it? Because I mean, to me, man, it's like just wash your hands, people. All this other stuff, just I'm... wash your hands. Yeah, I mean. That's basically it. I mean, just, uh, everybody should have been doing that beforehand, anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, man, let, let's take. Uh, go, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just wondering about why everybody was buying up all the toilet paper, but that's another story. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't get that either, man. I don't get that either. I don't know, I don't know how toilet paper is going to stop you from getting sick. Yeah. Right. You know, I exactly. mean, I mean, it, maybe it'll help you when you are sick, but it's not going to stop you from getting sick. No doubt. No you doubt. know, but uh, hey, man, let's take a trip back. I mean, talk to me about, you know, the formation. I know you, you went to high school with Slug, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I met Slug. I was a little, I'm a little older than Slug. I met Slug when we were, you know, we used to break dance in the streets and whatnot. And you would come by and flip me off, and I'd chase him down the road. And, no, that's and nice. and blah blah blah. But I mean, no, he he was a homie. We we had a class together, and um, uh, he started. Well, basically, flash forward. I mean, how we kind of got together. We just started uh, working on rhymes and stuff like that. But before it all started, he was my DJ, and um, he would just. He would basically get me, give me records. I would go in the studio, make beats out of them, and uh, do shows around town here and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, now, uh, now when you say when you when you say oh, around right. when you say around town, you're talking about in Minneapolis, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so um, go ahead. Oh uh, no, go ahead. Now, so I mean, when you when you're going around and you you guys went through a few different names as a group before you decided on uh, strictly atmosphere, and then um, you guys got together with the you know a few other acts, and um, you film you formed like a little bit of a collective, right? Called Headshots. Yeah, exactly. Um, in the beginning, uh, urban it was urban atmosphere mm -hmm. to start with. It was a uh, it was it came from a. Uh, a lyric I wrote in this verse and um, it just kind of stuck with us and uh, we, we took that on as our name and then we met up with um, 
Sadiq, who, who uh, I grew up with, basically. And um, he was doing things. He, he had an act with him called the Abstract Pack. And uh, there was this big collective show that we did. And actually, Black Moon and Smith and & Wesson were there. And uh, it was kind of like a contest type thing. And uh, me and Slug played second. Um, but there were a bunch of different groups there. Uh, Black Hole, Full Circle. Um, of course, the Abstract Pack. And from that day, on that day, is actually when the headshots formed. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, later on, becoming Rhyme Sayers Entertainment. Yeah, I was, I, I was going to ask you about that. So, like, when the headshots uh, evolves into Rhyme Sayers, was there one particular thing that was the catalyst for that uh, evolution? Um, I believe, now I could be wrong, but I believe that... Uh, a member from the abstract back because Sadiq, his, his, his name, his born name was Brent Sayers. And so they took that and called it Rhyme Sayers. And then from then on, it was just Rhyme Sayers. <laughs> That's kind of how it went. Right, right. But it wasn't like a thing where like you guys were sending your demos out to labels and labels were rejecting you and you were like, well, let's do it ourselves. No, no, nothing like that. We just, we started off with the headshot tapes and we were making mixtapes and recording um, songs and stuff like that. We were doing a lot of shows. We were getting in like an Astro van and driving to Chicago, Cincinnati, Milwaukee, like doing kind of a Midwest tour on our own Mm -hmm. and making noise that way. And then, I mean, pretty much after the... uh, Beyond came out with his first his first album, and then we dropped the uh, Overcast album, Atmosphere. Once we did that, um, we went back out to Chicago, man, and everybody was was like singing along with us when we did when we did the songs. It was tripping me out, but that's it's that's kind of how it got started. We were just literally going uh, state to state in the Astro van with about ten people in the car. And speakers mm-hmm. on top of our heads. <laughs> well, you know what's you know what's crazy is that like over the years, I mean, you know, I, I mean, obviously there's like college shows, college stations, and whatnot that you know play you guys' stuff or the group stuff. But uh, you know, you never really got a lot of like uh, mainstream radio play or anything like that. But on the other side of that, I mean, I've seen the group itself you know probably dating back to like since like 99 come around this area do shows and the shows are always sold out i mean you know so like you know when you when you see obviously you know you left i believe like around 2000 right correct correct uh when when you even in in that one year 99 or you know 98 to 2000 the two years uh and you see the the um following growing as it is as to you know even what it is now i mean does it blow your mind that you know like just like this this group from minnesota which is not known at all for you know hip-hop has such a cult following throughout the nation it was crazy i mean i mean you know i I look at it like this if you put in the work you could pretty much do anything you want to do you know back then um we just had big dreams and and we we felt like we were really good. We we uh, we wrote from the heart, and we didn't try and sound like anybody else. We weren't trying to be the gangsters or or anything like that. We were just talking about day to day life as we seen it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, there was you know lyrical skills and stuff. Once we you know try and flip styles and stuff like that. We really liked uh, the the souls of mischief and Dell. Uh, with yeah. some of our inspirations yeah, yeah, yeah. back then. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, to see it take off like it did is a, is a beautiful thing. So if it's not uh, too much to say, I'm wondering, because I, I became a fan of Atmosphere like in the, the mid-2000s when I finally heard about them, you know, just, you know, being exposed to it. And um, mm-hmm. what I, I was, it was always more like Ant and Slug, Ant and Slug. So what made you depart or you know what would had you veer off to do your own thing why i left well there was there was quite a few things going on um my mother was real sick and i was spending a lot of time taking care of her i understand that yeah 
and uh you know family first there was you know there was things going on within the crew as well i mean that's you know like 20 plus years ago Mm -hmm. but (laughs) um it was i don't know there was there was a lot of uh changing going on and, and people weren't connecting as much as they should be and uh and um i basically uh started uh producing for other artists and stuff like that and i guess that was kind of frowned upon it uh, for some reason and so i was just at the point where i was like okay well i i had to move on and just do me that's good and so um when i did that i was told i wasn't gonna get paid and (laughs) so i changed my name to wreck the heavyweight which was uh, a name I had had before I became Spawn, and um, I actually made a, a diss record towards the deep mm-hmm. uh, called Soul Seller, and uh, <laughs> it kind of made a little bit of noise and stuff like that. But we we since squashed all that, and uh, we're you know all of us are in a different place now, and um, I have since you know I I still I get paid now. So, I mean, we squashed all the beef. But you, but you, a different place, but all in a good place, right? Sounds like it. Right, <laughs> right. That, that, yeah, that's the definitely. important thing, man. That's the important thing. Yeah. So, uh, what you're up to now, um, you had this, you've got this song out now. I've been playing it a couple weeks now. Uh, Going to jump into it before we let you go. Um, talk to me about right now. Man, um, right now is kind of a... It, it's it's kind of a coming into change you know it's um you know kind of a past and present type of thing and i've made a lot of changes in my life um i've come to grips with you know I, i've stopped drinking and that was a that was a um problem for me for a while but i just chose to change that up and since i've done that i've been doing all kinds of crazy work but uh I don't know. It's more. Uh, I'm not. I'm not living in the past no more. You know, just like the song says. It's. You know, I've had a lot of loss in my life. Um, a lot of friends come and go. You know, it, it's. It's just. Uh, I would say it's it's a it's a positive song, in a sense to where. I can see who I am. I can see where I'm going. Um, and you know, like anything from now, I can do anything from now. You know. Mm-hmm. Nice. So I mean, uh, what is this? Uh, what is this uh, leading to? Are we looking towards an album coming out pretty soon, or you know, what's what's what it's going beyond that? Well, um, I'm working with a, a brother named LST, and uh, we got together a couple of years back and just started recording. And basically, what I've been doing is just making singles. Um, eventually I think we might turn it into an album um, but I can't really say at this point right now I just like the fact that we're making singles and just putting them out mm-hmm. so that's um, so, okay right right so I mean yeah it, it seems like nowadays it's uh, it's almost more more profitable just to do singles right right you know but I mean you can give your you know you can give your all to that song. You can you can focus on it. You're not focusing on a whole project where you have to kind of come up with a theme or anything like that. I just rather make different songs as to how I'm feeling at the time. You know, if the beat hits me, oh, let me let me get it. You know, um, and then go from there. But that's kind of how I look at it right now. True that, man. True that. So, real quick, if uh, people want to get in touch with you, you know, follow you on social media, give all those details out. Oh, you can get at me on the Instagram, uh, on Despawn Derek Turner, on um, Facebook, Despawn Derek Turner, um, on Vivo. I have a couple of videos up on that, and that's under Despawn Music One Hundred. Um, my YouTube channel is uh despawn and you can check on um to get songs and stuff like that you can check on spotify title deezer apple itunes uh amazon pretty much every 
download and streaming site. There it is, man. Awesome. There it is. Wait, well, hey, man, we're going to jump into right now, which is the uh, the current single, as well as there's a video for this, I do believe, as well on YouTube. So uh, yes, sir. go check that out. And, uh, hey, man, you know, whenever you uh, feel like coming back on the show, just hit me up and we'll, we'll make it happen. Man, I appreciate you guys having me, and thanks for playing my song. Oh, thanks um, for hopefully being I'll come out there and see y'all sometime and perform or something. That's, that would be awesome, man. I would love to ha- make that happen, man. Yes, sir. Yes, all sir. right, man. We'll, we'll talk to you soon, all right? All right. All right, man. Have a good night.